हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम कौस्तुभ शर्मा एन ई डब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफाइड डेवलपर एंड सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट टूडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी स्पेशल एज टूडे माई एक्स कलीग एंड फ्रेंड ज्योति इज ज्वाइनिंग दिस शी इज करेंटली वर्किंग एज अ जावा डेवलपर इन आई बी एम सो या आई गेस ज्योति यू कैन से हाई टू ऑडियंस so in today's video we are going to install terraform and uh, just see an example of uh, provisioning ec2 instance using terraform okay. uh, basically we are going to provision an server uh, that is in aws term it is ec2 instance on the uh, cloud platform aws using terraform okay as we already okay. discuss in the previous videos that uh, terraform is a infrastructure as a code means basically we are putting our infrastructure that is servers and all other thing in the form of code so we can put the conditions and we can follow this devops principle so that's why we need our infrastructure as a code okay okay a uh, one question over here yeah. as you said that we can consider server everything as an infrastructure Mm-hmm. can we consider database as a, uh, infrastructure as well yeah yeah database network everything is a infrastructure and you can create all of these using terraform and in terraform it give you a facility to write this database this servers this network as a, in the form of a code so that's the advantage of terraform okay okay uh, i guess uh, when we start you will come to know about this clearly when we are doing this practically so let's start with the installation of terraform so what you have to do you have to just go to any browser and just search for the terraform download and here is the link so www.terraform.io/download so terraform.io is an official website of terraform and uh, as i previously told in my video that uh, terraform is built by hashicorp company so as i am currently using a windows machine so i will download from the windows uh, if you are using mac os or linux or any other operating system then you can download respective of your os so the latest version is 1.1.7 and here you can see two links are available Uh, one is 386 and one is for the amd 64 so this 386 uh, is for the 32 bit machine and amd 64 is for the 64 bit machine so as currently i am using 64 bit machine so i will download it using this 64 bit url so let's click on save so it's a very small file uh, so it will download in a, just a minute so jyoti uh, do you have any doubt uh, if you have watched my previous video if you have any question you can ask me till it's downloading yeah i have watched your previous video as of now i don't have any i'll get i'll let you know yeah yeah okay no yeah sure. i think in this video we'll get some doubt yeah yeah sure sure yeah uh, so as you can see the terraform file is got downloaded it's a zip folder basically so let me open that so here is our folder so it's a zip folder so i have to extract it extract it so i have extracted it are you there jyoti are you able to hear me clearly yes sir yeah i am oh. able to hear you as yeah yeah so i have downloaded the terraform zip folder and uh, you can see there is an executable application there with the name of terraform mm-hmm. in that folder so what i have to do i have to put in a place where i generally put my application that is in the c drive so i will just cut it down and uh, make a folder in the c drive uh, you can put in the program files uh, i generally put in the program files and uh, i will make a folder here a new folder with the name of terraform 
and just transfer that uh, file inside here okay so okay uh, but we can run it from there itself like from the downloads itself as well right uh, yes yes you can run it you can uh, do that from there as well but basically all our applications are we generally stored in the c drive and uh, they are in the program files as well okay yeah, okay as you can see i have already installed my terraform uh, so if i just put the terraform command you can see it's it is still not uh, working right it is not able to recognize this terraform mm -hmm. so uh, why this is happening because my terraform application is at this particular location so if i go to this particular location like um, this windows or maybe i can copy the whole thing so if i run terraform from here so you can see uh, uh, it will it is showing me the commands and all of this stuff right so i i am able to see the terraform but if i go to any other directory i am not able to use it okay but i want to use it from the every directory because uh, my files can be anywhere right so for doing that what we have to do we have to put this path location in the path variable okay so let me show you how you can do that so you have to go to your windows search and search for the variable so here you will find edit environment variables for your account so just click on it so this is the step only like after installing terraform after yeah, putting yeah. it into your c drive you have to do this step yes yes Okay. so that it can run from any of the directory okay. uh, otherwise it will work from the only directory uh, where it is get installed okay so uh, so to make it work from the every directory uh, you have to go to this edit environment variable for your account yeah so here you can see a path variable is there okay so go go to this click on edit and uh, here go to this new and just add that path in which your terraform is there uh, you can uh, similarly put your uh, download path here if you want to uh, treat uh, means if you want to use that download path as well but uh, i generally prefer to use it from the program files itself so just click on this and just click on ok and uh, click ok here as well so if uh, now close this session of the cmd and again open the command prompt so even you can see i am in a different directory c users and my username so now it should work so you can see it is now working from every directory even if you can move to any directory now it's work so basically that path variable which we have seen uh, it is generally if you put any path of there any location so you can access that path from any of the directory that's the use of that path variable okay okay yes. you might have done it for the jdk as well means if you want to use yeah. java in the from every location then you have to do that okay yeah. so let me check that it is the latest version 1.1.7 so for that command is terraform version simply so you can see i am on the latest version 1.1.7 and it's working fine